And over the last few years, a group that's been instrumental in keeping Latin rock alive, the Latin Rock Incorporated group and Dr. Bernardo Gonzalez 
in the house today. We want to make sure we acknowledge him as a big part of keeping Latin rock alive.
years like the rest of us did. One of the great drummers, sweetheart of a guy, great musician, Mr. David George on drums. And this handsome devil right here, I like to embarrass him because he's so handsome. And uh, he's a wonderful, wonderful human being, great musician, all around great guy, and educated over also at San Francisco State University, am I right? Yes. Mr. Ruben Sandoval. On, tr on trumpet in the back there, he played with Malo when we first met. That's where we met, is playing with Malo some years ago. He's another educator, trumpet teacher, works with the youth. A hell of a guy, a uh, community service person. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tom Pertetta. And my, my, my love bug man, I love this guy to death. He just, he was in uh, uh, Seattle, right? Okay, he was in Portland, Oregon last night, played there last night, and he calls me this morning and says, my plane flight has been delayed. I immediately went into a panic, you know, because I said, oh my God. But the Aztec gods are with us because they brought him here five minutes before the show, so he made it. Okay, this guy right here, he's a, a, a producer and a writer. He's worked with the likes of Pete Escovito, uh, Jimmy Vaughn, and a numerous, Santana, numerous people. He has won a Grammy Awards for his... Uh, Production of horn arrangements for the Pacific Mambo, Mambo Orchestra. A hell of a nice guy, and what a trombone player he is. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only great Mr. Mike Renta. Renta! All right, and then, and then check him out his son right here. This guy played with Malo for over 28 years. He's a wonderful guitar player. He's been in the hood with me for, for all these years. Great guitar player, great songwriter. He's had his own CDs out. The wonderful Mr. Gabriel Monzo. Yeah. And over here, lead singer of this handsome devil, Mr. John Marin, who sang with the likes of all the Bay Area hip bands. And he's got such a beautiful voice. He's worked with George Santana. He's worked with 
with all the uh, Santana tribute bands in the Bay Area, and he's just an all-around wonderful musician, Mr. John Marin, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. San Jose. Ladies and gentlemen, the original Milo member founding group when, it was, when they did the first recording. He's a talented multi-musician as well, producer, arranger, songwriter, Oye Mama, and several of the Malo hits and, and Malo songs Dog. throughout the years. Malo Dog. Great percussionist, and uh, he is a nice guy too. Thank you. I think this, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for one of the founders of Momotombo, Mr. Leo Bogo, Leo Rosales. Yeah. Thank you.
our dues to do. Thank you so much. I'd like to say hi to Mike and Lisa. Where are you, Mike and Lisa? Wave. There's my buddies and pals right there. Mike and I are marathon runners. Yeah. yeah I'm a rookie. Okay. <laughs> Mike right here is getting ready to do the last race. It's, it's in Tokyo. It's the Tokyo Marathon. And after he completes that, he will have done the big six, right? <laughs> with us at the 66th Concourse Elegance in Pebble Beach. I have the world's uh, the 20th Bugatti and the woman 20th driver of Bugatti. Her name is Susan Dahl. And uh, with me also with us here, we have the board of director. His name is Stefan Bones. Welcome. And thank you. Uh, thank you for inviting us here at the Bugatti Special VIP area. And uh, how are you doing today? Oh, fabulous. I couldn't do better, especially looking at Chiron. It's so exciting and this car is so amazing. Yeah. So we're going to walk through you sure. through this amazing I car. This body, uh, uh, this body is fully carbon fiber and it's very rare blue, as you see. And also it's two-tone with the top. Um, the interior is absolutely insane. It's so beautiful. Um, there is how many of uh, Chiron's actually going to be made? 500 for the entire world are going to be made over the next uh, seven, eight years. Fantastic. And um, so if I place an order, when would be the, the soonest that the factory can make one? We have um, over 400 orders already. Mm -hmm. and if you would not be a good customer already, <laughs> you would have to wait till right, the end of right, 19, right. yeah, fourth yeah. quarter 19. Yeah, right, but, but for already Bugatti owners, I think um, we it's have a little yeah, bit, you, you yeah, jump, jump to the, the beginning of the line, yes, correct? Yes, yes. That is yeah. fantastic. Um, I saw the GT uh, Bugatti uh, Chiron outside, and I was wondering, um, does um, uh, the manufacturer think of making the concept car actually as like a one of the super sport version of the car in the future? We um, plan to build this car 500 times as it is and we will have an open top version with a T-top okay. um, but at the same time this is a wonderful car and we might do something apart from the Chiron and do something completely different for the racetrack. Right, right. And does this one come with a special key to go over 266 miles an hour? Absolutely. And uh, not in the yeah. US, yeah. maybe yeah. in, I don't know, Mexico? But <laughs> 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 I take it first. <laughs> we have a, um, four different drive programs yes. and we have the high speed program. Right. For that we have a, a, a high switch. speed. Yes, and a special key, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh my god. And this is this, the, this is the oh key. 
Oh and you have, to, you have to put in the key. And then you can drive over 266. Uh, when you guys test drive this car in Monsai, uh, how fast did your test drivers uh, try this car? They try it, of course, to the max. Mm -hmm. um, the car is limited for road use. Mm -hmm. to. Um,